Hey everybody, and welcome back to Angie's Jungle House. Um, do you like my fancy, fancy outfit for the day? It's called, I don't care. I'm too lazy to care. So now I have a video that Harley G requested on her YouTube channel about, um, she wanted to see how everybody does their plant cleaning up after. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do today. So let me get started and show you my cleaning routine. I'm only gonna show you the living room because otherwise it'd be a um, two hour long video and nobody wants to see that. So the first thing I do is get out my scissors, trim any really terrible leaves. Now this isn't done very often. Um, in the winter, I get a little bit of dry leaves uh, this plant was pretty pot bound, so I'm going to clean that up now. I didn't do that when I repotted it, but uh, I'm just going to take off all the failing leaves, which is a lot. This plant was not very happy when I brought her home. Um, so this being the first step, got a handful of leaves here. We'll put them on this here plate. Then I move on to my little handheld shop back. What I do is I clean up all the small debris. Actually, this plant's gonna have some debris to pull out of it too. The oxalis, and it's dead uh, clovers here. This I do quite frequently because that's just part of having an oxalis is cleaning up the crap it leaves behind. Uh, it's kind of like the same as the Boston fern. Makes a lot of, makes a lot of crap. Got debris, if you will. Uh. I mean, this is, anybody who has plants, get yourself a handheld shop pack. Dirt Devil, whatever you want to call it. Absolute lifesaver. So, and I apologize if I'm not in frame because I'm not really familiar with um, this here cell phone of mine yet. Anyhow, um, get out the shop bag. Now that that's done, I'll get out my handy dandy overused broom. This is really what takes 2,000 years later. That's about the quickest sweeping you're ever going to see because I, I did this early, like two hours ago. So that's just a little bit of, a little bit of debris there. And each one of these steps, I do go through room by room and I just I get out the scissors and I go through the whole house and then I get out the dirt devil and I go through the whole house. Then they, um, broom and then, thank God this is the only carpet in my house. That makes me, I have one little rug. Two, I apologize, I have one in my kitchen, which is a Thai rug, but for time's sake, it literally... <laughs> about that quick um now I to thoroughly go through and clean up after my plants the thoroughly the, the thoroughly that I do once a month or um if I have a spilled plant I'll go through if I'm moving everything and dusting it takes me two hours to go through and just trim up any dead leaves. I have bigger culprits than others. I mean, I have a couple oxalis plants. Um, sometimes I try to take the dead growth out of the um, Boston fern, stuff like that. But other than that, I really don't have too many dead dried leaves. Um, I'd say I'd spend way more time cleaning up if I didn't have like this little, it's actually a Black & Decker brand. 
handheld vacuum. This thing is such a lifesaver. It cuts down on my, you know, you get little chunks of perlite or whatever, chilling out on your, just go through quick with this around golden. But anyhow, hope you enjoyed this quick little video. Um, hope you found something useful in this Harley. I really do.